parallel k-means using MapReduce on big data cluster analysis. We have seen in this particular uh, section, we will see the parallel k-means algorithm. That means, we will use the MapReduce, we will apply the MapReduce apply the map reduce on k means algorithm now important thing here is that this particular method of applying the map reduce on k means will make this data parallel algorithm Now, after doing this data parallel k-means algorithm using MapReduce, now we can use this particular algorithm for the analysis of a big data. So, we can use this particular algorithm uh, that is called parallel k-means algorithm using MapReduce with the big data. and we can extract the insights of big data. So, let us see the more details of how MapReduce can be applied on the k-means to achieve this parallel k-means using MapReduce, which is used for the big data analysis. Now, this particular iterations of the k-means which is the step number 1 which we have seen in the previous slide that is to classify. That means, all the we have to assign the, the data set, the data points in the data set. to the closest centroid or to the closest cluster center, which is represented by this particular equation. Let us understand this particular equation. Now, if we are given a set of centroids, then for a particular data item x i, we are calculating the similarity measure and we have to identify that particular centroid which is having that minimum distance. <coughs> so, this particular argmin, this particular formula will identify that particular cluster which is having that closures, closest or which is very similar or which is having the least distance or a minimum distance with that data set compared to the other cluster, other centroids. Hence, this particular j is the label which will be identified for a particular x i. Now, we are now going to get z i as the label or as a centroid for this data point x i. Now, the next step in the k means algorithm which we have seen in the previous slides is called recenter. That means, after identifying the clusters, that means, after uh, classifying the data set points into the different clusters. Now, for every cluster, we are going to calculate the mean of uh, that particular cluster. So, for every cluster, we are going to compute the mean and that will become the new centroid for every cluster. This is called recenter and these two step is going to uh, iterate. So, this these two step will form the uh, first iteration of the map reduce k means algorithm. Now, let us use uh, the map function and reduce function which can be applied now on k means algorithm. Now, the map function would be here 
uh, for each data point uh, we have to we, we will identify uh, this particular uh, centroid which is closest to this data point xi and let us assume that zi is the closest centroid which is being identified for a data point xi and the map function will perform this operation in a data parallel operation as a data parallel operation and it will emit uh, this key value pair so key will be key will be the the centroid or you can also call it as a label and the value will be that data point data point in the data set or the data sample now as far as the step number 2 of the first iteration which is called computing the recenter which is nothing but identifying the mean of that particular cluster mean of the cluster point so mean of a cluster point will become the new centroid which is nothing but we call it as recenter now as far as the reduce function for this operation will be performed by taking this key value pair from the previous map reduce and for that particular that means it will group by that particular centroid all data points and perform the average so average of all data points for that particular cluster which is zi now let us see in more details how this map and reduce function is being implemented so the first step is called classification or a classifying classify the data points data points in the data set to the closest centroid in a data parallel operation so in this particular <coughs> equation you can see that if you are given the set of centroids so for a given data point it will calculate the distance measure the differences and the minimum of that particular difference will be that data will be that centroid which is very closest to the data point compared to all other one and that will become as the label or the centroid which is closest to the data point so this way if we perform this activity for all data sets in data parallel operation then uh, we can specify using map function so map function will have the input as the set of all data all all centroids so this is the set of all centroids mu1 mu2 these are all let us say k different uh, uh, centroids are given in the map function and xi is the data point now this xi will be uh, uh, computing the uh, the similarity measure or the the distance measure with all the centroids and the minimum distance centroid let us assume it is z which will be identified which will be assigned to zi and the map function will emit that zi and this xi so the key which this map function will emit is the centroid id which is the closest to this data point and the value will be that data point
Now, let us see the uh, reduced function which is nothing but computing the recenter. Now, after uh, doing the mean or it will identify the uh, mean of all the data points within a particular um, uh, data within a particular cluster and after doing the normalization summation and the normalization it will identify the new centroid. So, for all the cluster all the clusters there will be a recenter or computing the, the summation of all the data points and normalizing it that is nothing but the calculating the mean for all things. Let us see how it will be done performed using the reduced function. Now, as we have seen from the map function that there will be key value pair which will be emit from the map. So, map will emit the key value pair. So, key will be that centroid id let us say that this is the centroid and this value will be the set of all set of data points. which are assigned to the centroid j. So, what it will do is uh, it will compute it will find out the total uh, it will find out the summation of all uh, data points x within it within the clusters and then it will do the normalization. So, here for that there will be a for loop. So, it will iterate uh, through all the uh, all the data points in that particular uh, set of that cluster and it will do this particular summation that means, it will do the summation of it this particular equation it will operate in this way. And then it will also do a counting and finally, the count value will contain the total number of points which are doing which are the, which are being summed up for normalization. So, now it will do this mean or the normalization uh, normalized uh, aggregation is being done. Normalized aggregation or it will be computed the mean for every cluster and it will emit this is the key, key means it will emit the centroid and value will be the normalized value which is a new centroid. So, after calculating the new centroid now again it will go to the next iteration and this iteration will repeat. So, we have seen that how the map and reduce has been uh, implementing this k means algorithm. Let us see the same thing in the form of a picture. So, you can see that this is the data set and this particular map function will be performed on different data splits. So, map function will be applied on a different data splits and this will uh, map will emit the key value pair. So, key will be the, the centroid and for all the values of this data points it will emit. Reduce function what it will do it will now group by key and it will collect all such data points which belong to a particular cluster and it will form the normalized aggregation that is nothing but it will calculate the mean of it. So, for that particular centroid j it will compute the mean that is nothing but the new centroid and this particular way this k means algorithm will iterate to the next step until it converges. So, this particular new data centers new centers once it is being identified then again it will go and classify 
all the data set accordingly and so on. This particular iteration keeps on iterating unless there is a stopping criteria and once the stopping criteria is met then these iterations will stop and the algorithm will terminate. In summary, we have seen the parallel k-means algorithm which is nothing but an implementation of MapReduce for k-means algorithm. So, we have also seen that the two steps that is the uh, using map and reduce we have uh, implemented, we have seen the implementation uh, using map function for the classification step wherein the data parallel operation is performed over different data points to classify the data points into the key value pair. Now, second operation which is called reduce operation which is nothing but to com to recompute the means or the new centroids. The new centroids are computed based on the mean of data points in the clusters which is identified in the step number 1. So, after identifying it, then it will go to the next iteration and so on. So, these iteration, these two operations that is the classification and recomputation, we have seen how using map and reduce is being implemented. Now, we see that this k-means algorithm is an iterative version, uh, is an iterative algorithm and which requires an iterative version of a map reduce and in the uh, the previous uh, versions of Hadoop and MapReduce version 1, we have, we have there were several new implementation of iterative MapReduce. Now, with the uh, new uh, version of Hadoop, which internally supports the iterative MapReduce in a spark, uh, this particular iteration is not going to be a problematic and is going to be very straightforward that we will see in uh, further uh, uh, lectures more detail that this is not that we can use it uh, iterative version of MapReduce using some other means such as Spark. Now, another practical consideration is about the mapper which needs to get the data points and all the data and all the centers. A lot of data is going to be moved in the old or in the previous version of MapReduce, but now in a newer uh, implementation like in Spark and all. So, in memory computation is being used to store the data and over the iterations all these are implemented and handled for better optimization and efficient implementation. Conclusion in this lecture we have given an overview of uh, the uh, parallel k-means algorithm as an implementation of MapReduce and uh, which is uh, one of the very important unsupervised machine learning uh, for different big data analytics application. Thank you.